the sea live a little mermaid named Ariel. She loved exploring her underwater home with her friend Flounder, but dreamed of living on land as a human. Ariel was always searching for human treasures. When she and Flounder found a strange fork object, they swam to the surface to find Scuttle, the seagull. It's a single hopper, he proclaimed. Ariel's father was King Triton, ruler of the sea. He thought humans were dangerous. When he learned that Ariel had been to the surface, he forbade her to ever go again. Then he asked Sebastian and the crab to keep an eye on her. But Ariel continued to go to the surface. One night, a terrible storm swept across the sea. Ariel and Flounder watched as the prince fell off a huge ship. I must save him, cried Ariel. Ariel pulled Prince Eric to shore and sang to him. Then she swam away. Prince Eric only caught a glimpse of Ariel's face, but he knew he would remember her beautiful voice forever. Desperate to see Prince Eric again, Ara agreed to give her voice to the evil sea witch Ursula. With bigger plan in mind, Ursula cast a spell and turned Ara into a human. But if Prince Eric didn't kiss Ara by the sunset on the third day, she would become a mermaid again. Even worse, she would belong to the sea witch forever. Charmed by her silent beauty, Prince Eric showed Ariel his kingdom. Ariel loved being with a prince in the human world, but two of them had not kissed. Worried that Prince Eric was falling in love with Ariel, Ursula transformed herself into a beautiful Vanessa. She was going to make the prince fall in love with her again. Worried that Prince Eric was falling in love with Ariel, Ursula transformed herself into a beautiful Vanessa. She was going to make the prince fall in love with her instead. This gives us Vanessa and using Ariel voice, we say that she cast a spell on Prince Eric. He thought he was in love. He was going to marry Vanessa. Ariel had lost her true love just before sunset on the third day. Scatu discovered that Vanessa was Ursula in disguise. He hurried one Ariel as Sebastian went to find King Triton. Ariel and Flounder raced to catch Prince Eric's ship with the help of her friend. Ariel was able to stop the wedding and get her voice back. Released from Ursula's spell, Prince Eric realized that Ariel was the one he truly loved. But it was too late. The sun went down before Ariel and the prince could kiss. She was a mermaid once more and belonged to Ursula. To save his daughter, King Triton gave Ursula his great powers and became his prisoner. Now I am the ruler of all the ocean, shot Ursula. As Ursula grew in size and towered above the sea, Prince Eric jumped aboard a new ship. He steered its jack but Ursula hard with a bow, the sea which disappeared in the wave. With Ursula gone, King Triton regained his power, seeing arrows slur from Prince Eric. The king granted her wish. She became human.